here are the top five reasons why you shouldn't be installing analog cameras in hospitals or educational institutions if you are someone who is involved in educational or hospital sector then you should never miss this video hi my name is Sibin and I'm a surveillance specialist and also the founder of Trinity computer solutions when we meet the IT team of a hospital or educational institution the first question they ask is can we install analog cameras to save cost and also can we install higher resolution camera in analog for a much lower cost than IP cameras we have discussed in our earlier video on what are the important factors to keep in mind while designing a surveillance solution for commercial buildings today we will talk about why we should never go for analog cameras in a hospital or educational institution now with hospital I mean bigger hospitals which have bed capacity of 100 patients or above and with educational institutions I mean schools or colleges which have more than 1000 students or if you have a large campus when we talk about bigger hospitals or schools and colleges we will always be looking at covering not only the main entry or exit points or the main corridors but we will also be looking at covering some major points like maybe in hospitals nurse stations cafeteria lift and stairs counseling rooms activity rooms in schools uh, it could be classrooms perimeters of the campus playground and other common and critical areas of public movement so we are looking at a cluster of few cameras in each floors or could be a cluster in different locations at the same campus we definitely need to think of managing these cables when it's ip cameras we can always keep switches near the cluster and decentralize them and ensure the mess of these cables are reduced and hence we reduce the cabling cost as well second is about maintenance when we are choosing analog cameras it requires frequent maintenance as the BNC connectors or DC pins used in them tend to go bad over a few months or years due to humidity or temperature condition also when there is a problem identifying issues in an analog camera becomes so difficult as tracing the problem is hectic whereas in IP cameras we can simply do cable check continuity and also run ping test anywhere from the network to see if there's an issue with a camera or a switch or an NVR connected to the entire network third is about life expectancy an IP setup has more life expectancy than an analog setup and moreover the sensors and lens are less strained because there is no conversion from digital to analog and then analog to digital happening at the camera end or the NVR end in IP camera setup it directly captures digital data transmit them over network cable and finally stores the data also in digitally now due to this factor the image from an IP camera is always proven to show better clarity than analog camera fourth is about the features available in IP cameras each IP camera can be individually managed and features like brightness contrast adjustment and other advanced features can be individually controlled for example we can decide how many bits per second each camera should transmit the data we may have some critical cameras which need more specific features and some uh, cameras which need lesser bit depth and lower bandwidth the fifth and the last point is it is due to the smart features available in an IP camera why you should choose IP over analog like you may need cameras which capture number plates do people counting track and capture faces marking and tracking sensitive areas heat mapping artificial intelligence and a lot more features which might prove to be very critical in identifying suspects or while trying to get details of an incident now these are features which are not available in regular cameras and that that's the reason why we suggest you to avoid analog cameras for bigger commercial establishments hope you found the details useful tag the person whom you feel this might be helpful we will be back with more videos so don't forget to like our page and follow us this is Sibin signing off see you in my next video thank you